on this apron, I feel like I'm in like a 1950s, 60s home sitcom. Okay, so today we are making one of my go-to realistic healthy dinners. It is lamb and veggies. It is not a lot of work and for someone like me who really cannot eat out because of all the additives and chemicals and gluten and such, it works very well. So if you are trying to eat healthier, if somebody in your family or your friend circle needs to eat healthy, or if you would just like a nice lamb vegetable dinner, this is for us. So you want to preheat the oven to about 375 degrees Celsius. So we're going to start with the lamb because that takes the longest to cook. And I actually got the idea for this sauce from this really awesome cookbook, The Longevity Kitchen by Rebecca Katz. So she has a recipe for Moroccan mint lamb chops and they use human coriander, cinnamon and cayenne and other stuff, but that's uh, the main ingredients I'm gonna use for these lamb. So we're gonna do one teaspoon cumin. To be honest, I don't always measure it. I just kind of eyeball it as long as the proportions of spice to spice are right. So one teaspoon cumin, half a teaspoon coriander, quarter teaspoon cinnamon, quarter teaspoon cayenne. I usually add a little bit more of the cinnamon, to be honest. So there we have our nice little spice mix, and I'm just gonna add some olive oil and some salt. Okay, so now we have our nice little spice mix and it is nice and saucy from the addition of the olive oil. And it's really ideal right now if you have one of these baster things so that you can put this all over the meat. I mean, you can do it with a fork or a spoon, obviously. Um, it's just a lot easier to get it everywhere if you have one of these. So we're gonna pop this in the oven. Only one half has the sauce on it, and then we're gonna check on it after about 25, 30 minutes, clip it, and do the other side. Okay, so we have the meat in. Now we wanna start taking care of the vegetables. So you wanna chop them pretty thin. Make sure that you're doing the eggplant a little bit thinner than the zucchini because the eggplant takes slightly longer to cook. Um, but there's really not too much rules here. I like to cut them into quarters. That's just my preference. You could probably leave it as half. Okay, so now you have all your veggie slices. You wanna put them in a bowl and just drizzle a little bit of olive oil, salt, and some green spices, oregano, parsley, rosemary, perhaps. Today I am using oregano and some rosemary. I also have some fresh basil, which I think I will wait until the meat and the veggies are cooked and then I'll chop it up and add. Okay, so yeah, you just want to mix it. You could use a spoon if you don't want to get your hands dirty. I don't mind mixing stuff with my hands at all. And just mix up the veggies and the oil and the salt. into the are beautiful. You wanna try and lay them out in a long pan so that they don't um, lie on top of each other because otherwise they'll cook kind of differently. I just like them to be a little bit more toasty and not on all on top of each other. So we'll pop these in the oven along with the meat and we'll check on them after about 20 minutes. We are out of the oven. The veggies are all softened up. The meat is sizzling. Okay, so I cooked everything for about 35 minutes, give or take, depending how thick your lamb is, you might have to cook longer or shorter, um, and just check the vegetables and get them to your, done to your taste. And here we are. 
with the final product <clears throat> the lamb is all nice and saucy the little fatty bits on the meat taste so damn good when the sauce is in them and here are the vegetables i just sprinkled some basil on top it would probably go really well with a salad or avocado but I'm gonna be realistic. I am not sitting down to have a nice meal. I'm gonna eat this and go do something else. So I don't really have the time to jazz it up too much. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe. If you learned anything from this video, let me know what your favorite go-to healthy meal is. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.